welcome back to Until Then. Mark is gonna ask Nicole to prom. Let's go. Is she going to like these? I got her heart-shaped cookies. <laughs> oh man, I knew I should have gone with the other ones. These are too cheesy. This is dumb. I'm dumb. Should I, should I even be asking her to prom? What if she thinks I'm joking? She's definitely gonna think I'm joking. Maybe we can go as friends? No, I'm being stupid. I can do this. We've been having fun together, we've been bonding. Oh man, I sound so lame, but we've been getting closer. She likes my company, right? She likes me. Dashing through the snow on a one horse open sleigh. <laughs> Damn you, Christmas carolers. It's crim this time in the Philippines. Uh. <laughs> Merry Christmas, sir. Merry Christmas. Oh, it actually is Christmas in July. When I'm recording this. Uh, aren't they supposed to sing? I gotta make this place a little more festive. Oh, is that what we're doing? Phew, thought this old thing wouldn't work. But there, that's a little better. At least the house won't look empty. <laughs> As empty. Now we wait by the gate. Here they come. Alright, on three. One, two, three. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. That was great. Thank you, sir. Here's your reward. Candy? This isn't Halloween. We didn't even celebrate Halloween. Come on, Edgar. That house over there. I bet they know how Christmas caroling works. <laughs> right, of course they're in it for the money. I used to do this as a kid, how could I forget? <laughs> hey. Hey. What are you guys gonna sing? Do we have to? Yeah, that's how it works apparently. Okay. <laughs> Feliz Navidad! Feliz Navidad! Guys, you're not supposed to scream. <laughs> They're just screaming it. Feliz Navidad! Feliz Navidad! Feliz Navidad! <laughs> Prospero! Dun -dun -dun. <laughs> I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas! Hands in the air or whatever! I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas! Whoa! That's all. <laughs> that good? Come on, guys. You can do better than that. Give us money. This is a scam. Once you give us money, we'll leave you alone. Do you really want to hear us sing again? Yeah, actually. Yes, please. You can do better. Please, Navidad! Okay, stop. <laughs> Fine. Here's your reward. Told you. Thank you. This is absolutely going great. Good screen cap. All the while a chip tune of Hark the Herald Angels Sing is going. More kids coming, please be good. Can we sing for you too, mister? If your singing isn't screaming. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Whoa. Are you two singers? Only when it's Christmas. You should try it year round. Well, here you go. Merry Christmas. Thank you, sir. Merry Christmas. 
That's a nice change of pace. Now we're off to a good start. Ah, the joys of Christmas caroling. Woo! It's almost Christmas! <laughs> Hello? Any more carolers out there? Just gotta wait for them inside, I guess. Alright, there's gotta be something to do around here. Guess I should take this out. Should have remembered to buy food for Christmas dinner. Oh well, it won't be that bad, I guess. Oh, I'm just having dinner now. This is okay, I guess. Merry Christmas and all that. <laughs> Not now. Use phone. Let's go back on Omegle. That was so fun last time. I wonder what MCR means for them. Like, wh what is their acronym for that? <laughs> Merry Christmas, one exclamation point. Rydell, how's the shooting going? Kathy, we know you're busy, but... Guess I'll just wait for them to reply. <laughs> Babinka after Simban Gabi. One for me and one for my granny. That looks so good. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Due to unforeseen circumstances, the semifinals chess games are postponed. We'll no longer be taking place in our stadium. We are prioritizing the safety and well-being of a valued member of our community. Oh. That's that thing uh, Louise was in. Polly from Manzanero had been, has been, had been missing. Our dear niece Polly has been missing. Damn. Any updates on Polly since then? Noche buena this year. Thanks for the thanks to the MVPs, mom and dad. Ryan had a big hog for Christmas. Please mail some lech on to me at one, two, three. <laughs> Can I have some idol? Merry Christmas, boss. Merry Christmas and a prosperous new year from our fam from our family to yours. Like. Merry Xmas. <laughs> Nice bucket challenge. This Christmas I've been challenged to put together a bucket of food, toiletries, clothes, and other necessities to donate to victims of the ruling. I was able to donate 10,000 buckets, nice buckets, to charity. <laughs> oh, that's a good, that's a good twist on it. Challenge accepted. I nominate Coco Pacheco to do the nice bucket challenge. Beauty, brains, and heart. The perfect girl. I think I'm in love. Thank you for being such a socially aware role model. Why buckets? Want to make more sense to use boxes. <laughs> the danger of fake news. This is so scary. <laughs> the scene outside Poglom General Hospital is bleak. There are lines of people outside with untreated injuries and ailments, waiting for someone to help them. Jorni, with yellow bandages half hap haphazardly wrapped around his head. Xiri, sitting at her younger sister's bedside. It's been three months since her little sister had been awake. 
Oh my goodness. The ruling was a one-time small-scale event, and the after-effects of it are a hoax to control people with fear. <laughs> if that's so, where are all the injuries coming from? Who are we waiting for? This is a fake news epidemic. Easy to dismiss these so-called news articles as outrageous, to think there's no way anybody would believe this, but it's happening all over the country now. People are beginning to believe that the effects of the ruling are no longer a problem. Even some big-name celebrities are not immune to the clutches of fake news. It's far worse in their case because they have a platform. People look up to them and trust them. Their perspectives. So when the everyday person sees their posts, they believe it. This is, this is too real. It's too close to reality. <laughs> Real people in the provinces continue to suffer. Hospitals have yet to have yet to be reconstructed. Evacuation centers are still overflowing. This is the power of disinformation. This is the price of disinformation. As people insist the effects of the ruling are a hoax, the damage is far behind us. As people insist that the effects of the ruling are a hoax and the damage is far behind us, people die waiting for hope, waiting for help. Is Liamson a real place? Is Liamson a real place in the Philippines? <laughs> Liam, some Liam, some times you are the fake news. XD. True. Clearly, don't check your sources. Have you read this? Like, share. <laughs> Karen changed the relationship status to. Sis, what happened? Forever really doesn't exist. Sorry for the confusion, guys. Just a misclick. Still going strong <laughs> with Monster Yabba. Love is love. Oh, this is Jaggy. Their their name was mentioned like a few times and I was like so confused. I'm like, are they real? <laughs> who said yuck? Who, who the fuck? <laughs> Who's saying yuck to that? Come on. Come on now. Love is love. Share. Well, now I'm so confused why Kathy and Jaggy were mentioned. Wasn't Mark calling Kathy Jaggy Boy at one point? Like, once or twice? Why, would, why was Jaggy Boy brought up with Kathy? What was that about? Like, if Kathy and Jaggy are both gay, they would... <laughs> What was, what was that love note on the ground? That was all the way in chapter one. That was several episodes ago. That was episode one. That was episode one. And I don't even get it. <laughs> Charles, you gotta stop selling these umbrellas. They're not magic. <laughs> Charles, please. Yellow available? How to order. Bump. <laughs> oh, he bumped this. Bumped for exposure. That's funny. Christmas party with the team. Nice. Yeah, nice. It's Rydell with his crew. Wishing for more success. Delete. <laughs> Merry, cri Merry Christmas, man. Alright, I'm out. Ugh. <sighs> Well, wasn't expecting a reply anyway. They're probably busy. Rydell with his short film crew. Kathy with their abusive question mark family. Rydell definitely is, and Kathy. I hope she's alright. She always gets busy with family stuff around Christmas. Maybe I shouldn't have replied to her brother. Is that my fault? I must be out of my mind. Good start. <laughs> Erase. <laughs> Merry Christmas. How's your Christmas Eve going? <laughs> Hope you're having fun tonight. How's your Christmas Eve? Probably better than mine. I'm building this message brick by brick. <laughs> Just bumming around on the couch. Meanwhile, I'm looking for things to do around the house. Hope your night's better. Hope your night is going better. I'm sure it is. You'll have a grand time. You'll have a pine time. I can't say Christmas twice and they say happy holidays. <laughs> You'll have a pine time. I'm sure you'll have a pine time. They call me the Comedy King. Riz. Absolute Riz.
Did I screw up? I screwed up. <laughs> Hey, I'm sorry for disturbing you. Okay, calm down. She's probably just busy. It's Christmas. Everyone is. That did kind of look like a fake text message. <laughs> hey, son. I'm really sorry we couldn't be home this year. This year. Things have been slow going at work, but we're making progress. We'll make it up to you next year, okay? Let me know when your mom reaches out to you. We love you, Mark. Merry Christmas. Oh yeah, they're both both doing the engineer stuff. <sighs> Hi Dad, it's alright. I know you must be busy. Hope you get some rest this week. Yeah, I'll let you know. I love you too, Dad. Merry Christmas. I mi I miss you. I miss you. Didn't say that. Hi Mom, how have you been? Have you contacted Dad recently? Sadly, he couldn't get out of work for, for Christmas this year. I hope you're not overworking yourself, too. Merry Christmas, Mom. I miss you. I love you. Alright, now what? Nothing better to do. I should probably just go to my room. Find something to do there. Play piano. <laughs> Christmas fireworks. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> Haven't been here in a while. There's nothing else to do anyway. Huh. Mom never did get to finish that. At least the cleaning lady does a good job of keeping the place spotless. Just their overseas documents. Nothing interesting. Hey, it's my robot, Fanasonic. Man, I hope Dad still makes these in his free time. If he has free time. This is where Dad tinkered around with his stuff, like when he's thinking. He'd be here working quietly when Mom played. Damn, this piano's out of tune. Well, this is horribly out of tune. I wonder if I can get this fixed before Mom comes home. How? You got us. You got tuners. Hey, this plane. Plane. Okay, here we go. I. I'm ready. Oh, flashback. Mom likes to make flowers. I can't wait to see this one done. Wow, Fanasonic. Fanasonic will protect me from anything. I wanted to look at the high-vis jacket. Mom's so good at the piano. Dad and I love listening to her. What the? Hey, Torni Tornilio and Tornilio Jr. Tornilio Jr. Fanasonic's trusty friends guard my room round the clock. I really liked planes back then. That's the Sopwith Camel Fighter from World War One. Its guns can fire through the propeller. It's so cool. Basketball. Yes, Mr. Dela Cruz. I'll have it by then. I guarantee it. It's. It won't be a problem. We have a tree this year. Dad worked on the lights himself while Mom helped it out. 
You know you can count on me. There you are. Come sit. Dinner is ready. Yay, my favorite. That's right. I put extra hot dogs in it just for you. Thanks, Mom. Oh, and it's time for a Noche Buena. Noche Buena. Of course, of course. With you two, the Noche is always buena. Oh, you. Ready for Christmas, son? Yep. Look at how good you look in those clothes I laid out for you. You look very dashing. Through the snow. Dad! Alright, alright. We should pray. I can't wait for the ham. Mark. <laughs> Mark, we couldn't get a ham this year. Not now. What's wrong? We were... a little late to the supermarket this year. Christmas is a really busy time of year. Everyone wants their ham. Aw, so no Christmas ham? <laughs> I'm sorry, son. We'll make it up to you next year. That's right. Okay. That's a good sport. We'll celebrate by giving you all the hot dog you want in your spaghetti. Isn't that right? Of course. How does that sound, son? Good. For now, why don't you go ahead and open your gift? Already? You've been such a good young man this year, Mark. You deserve it. Go open it. Whoa! This is mine? Why, of course. We love you. It's all yours, son. Thank you, thank you, thank you! Merry Christmas, Mark. Zoom! Okay, this is just so cute and wholesome. I'm... I'm... <laughs> I'm charmed. The ga this game has charmed me. Zoom! Pew, pew, pew! Maria. I know. We have to tell him sometime. We will. For now, let's just let him have this. Our little fighter pilot. Mr. Borgia. <laughs> this is the electricista. Electricista. We hear about your electricity bill. I suppose at one time they told him. His parents told him they had to leave. Indefinitely, indefinitely for work. We hear about your electricity bill. What? I'm sure I paid this month. Isn't it way too late at night for these guys to show up? And on Christmas Eve, too? They're crazy, crazy for that. Sir, look. This must be some mistake. Merry Christmas, Mark! Oh! Nicole and her family showed up? For, for Christmas? God damn it, my heartstrings are being tugged at. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Uh. Merry Christmas? I'm confused. Did you happen to see a power company guy around? <laughs> I was pulling your leg, young man. The lights were all out, so. I wanted to pull a prank, a little prank. Nicole told us your parents couldn't make it home this year, so we thought we'd invite you over. 
for our little Christmas celebration. Seriously? I meant it when I said you're welcome anytime, Mark. Nicole, you... This wasn't my idea. They insisted. Of course. Nicole here was so worried about her student rep. Mom! <laughs> we just had to have you over. Since you're such a good friend to our baby girl. Dad! I... I just thought it'd be nice to thank you. For, you know, showing me around and all. Not that I needed you to, of course. So what do you say, Mark? Yeah. I say yes. Here we are. Mark, make yourself at home, okay? We're going to pre go prepare for Noche Buena. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Miss Luxamana. Miss Luxamana. Is this really okay? Of course. Go ahead and sing us a song if you want. Oh, okay. This is, this is really nice. They really decked this place out. Popular songs. Nine eight four three. They added a rhythm game. This is real. Bro. <laughs> so that must be Jake. They must have been really close. Oh, that's Jake. He Dude. I said that guy in the pic looks like Mark. Dude, I'm Jake. I'm Jake, actually. Bro, I might be Jake, actually. Is it alright if I play this piano? <laughs> it's here now, outside. I'm glad. That's much more impressive than what I put up. I got the Christmas ham. Look at this spread. Sweet spaghetti, barbecue sticks, bugo pandan, and fruit salad. What a feast. Dinner's almost ready. Why did we even rent a video key if no one's going to sing? You're free to sing for us, hon. And get complaints from our neighbors? I don't think so. It'll be pine, Dad. Right, Mark? <laughs> Mark, how's the spaghetti? Oh, it's great, Mrs. Luxamina. You should pair it with the barbecue for that perfect flavor. I don't want to get too much. Why not? We didn't prepare all this for nothing, you know. Sorry, I just don't wanna... Eat too much, really. Oh, don't be shy. There's more in the kitchen. Have as much as you want. Why, if, if it weren't for you, Nicole here wouldn't have started playing again. That's not... <laughs> uh, <laughs> she's one strict teacher. Oh, I'm sure. It's the best way to learn. 
So glad to hear it's been going well. I haven't eaten like this in years. If you don't mind me asking, Nicole mentioned your parents are overseas? Uh... It just came up in conversation. Yeah. They're both working abroad. It pays the bills a lot better than before. I'm glad they're doing all they can to provide for you. They must miss you dearly. Yeah. I miss them too. A lot. Well, don't be shy about having Christmas with us. You hear? Thank you, sir. Do you celebrate like this every year? Well, we used to celebrate with my parents back home in the province. I mean, this looks... Oh, I miss them. I want to visit them soon. I told you, hon. The highways are open now. You can go on your own as long as... You bring a friend we trust, like... Nope, I'm good here. <laughs> oh, but I thought you wanted to see your grandparents. Oh, and you're happy moving here, right? Of course, Mom. Glad to hear it, hon. It's been a tough year, but you're a tough girl. Mm, that's right. <laughs> You keep making our lives so much brighter, Nick. Please swallow first, Dad. <laughs> but not as bright as this living room. Do we really need this many lights? Of course we do. It's our first Christmas in this house. We have to do it right. It's really beautiful. See? Mark likes it. <laughs> Look who's being all polite. <laughs> Mark, we really thank you For being such a good friend to our daughter You see, when we moved to Liamson We really wanted a fresh start for you, Nicole I'll admit, we were worried it would be hard on you We were But you took it like a champ Making new friends already We're proud of you it's nothing. I always had you and Mom with me. And now you have Mark. Uh, <laughs> I, uh... I'm just happy she said yes to being my mentor, Mr. Loxamina. Oh, speaking of, won't you play for us after dinner? I'd love to hear you. Um, sure, but I'm not that. No pressure. Just please don't embarrass me in front of my parents. <laughs> So much for no pressure. Oh, you guys. Come on, let's finish up and enjoy some sweet dessert. Oh, boy. Hey, let's both play that song that we know two halves of. Nicole, you're missing it. <laughs> I heard him play that a million times. Oh, never mind then. Oh, Mark, that was wonderful. Nicole taught you so well. Couldn't have made it this far without her. It really is impressive, dear. You're doing wonderfully. And I'm sure you'll knock it out of the park on audition day. I sure hope so. We're all rooting for you, you know. That means a lot to me, ma'am. Mark, I know we've been thanking you a lot tonight. But I hope you understand. We were beginning to think she would never play again. That would have been a shame. We did everything to rekindle her passion, but... Nothing seemed to do the trick. I don't know what in the world you did, but... You brought her back. Well, uh, she's amazing. At the piano, I mean. She is, isn't she? 
It's so lovely to hear these walls fill up with her music again. We could never thank you enough. I just asked her for her, for her help. That's all. Yes. And I think she needed that. Thank you so much for performing for me, Mark. Ooh, it's getting it's getting late and I'm not as young as I used to be. Thank you so much for having me over for dinner. Please rest well for the night, Mrs. Loxamana. You make yourself at home, okay? Like I said, we're rooting for you. Thanks. Don't mention it. Good night, Mark. Merry Christmas. Does this does this game end with the piano audition? The entire game leading up to that? That would be something. So... So... <laughs> that was a lot. I liked it. This is the song they should play at the audition. Like, if that ended with them playing this song together on stage. It's their song. Every time I open the game, it plays this song, by the way. With those, uh, with those lyrics. <laughs> I still remember how he played this the first time. It was really something. We make a good team. We should play together more, you know? Probably compose a song together, too. Hold your horses, mister. You can barely play, let alone compose. I know you- but I know you can help me with that, too. We can do anything. Even beat Dark Fiends? Even paint posters? Even master darts? Yeah. We'd be partners. Oh! <laughs> uh, by partners, I mean... <laughs> not like, uh... I thought Mark was just gonna ask him, will you go to prom with me? <laughs> Are you ready for audition day then? I, I like to think so. I'll be checking Meow out. Hey, that's mine. Good try, but Meow doesn't even sound like you. <laughs> You'll do pine. Hey, I'm just saying. <laughs> but I... I want to make Mom proud. I know what you mean. I learned to play from my grandparents. They taught me everything I know. I was scared of letting them down, but... They were all just happy to see me play. You're right. You should send her a video. You know, she's always loved playing. It was her biggest passion. It was too expensive a passion for her. She joined a choir as a junior pianist. It was the only way she could get her hands on a piano. She went as much as she could, practicing a lot, but... But money was hard to come by. She set aside her own goals to help her family. She had less and less time to go and practice. She had to work as much as she could. And by the time a friend gifted her a second-hand piano, she'd given up on being a professional musician for something else that pays. I'm sorry. I can't imagine what that must have been like. It's okay. She continued to play as a hobby. Eventually her job couldn't pay the bills, so she had to keep taking on more and more until it, until it tired her out. She tried her best to keep her passion alive though, playing for us whenever she could. Always going to recitals and com competitions to admire the music. I figured... That must have been how she heard, heard your piece. At a recital or something. 
Your music must have really moved her. For her to have remembered it so well. I'm honored. You must have been moved too, since you remember it so well. Oh, that was how the piece came together? Mark's mom just heard Nicole play this at a piano recital. And then she learned that, and that became a childhood core memory for Mark. Darn it, that makes more sense and is more realistic than it just being destiny fate that they just happen to know the same song. It's more complicated than that. Mark, your father and I, we have to go to work abroad. Oh, that... In these flashbacks, she was talking about, she's such a talented, lovely girl or something. She was talking about Nicole at a recital. That's why she was playing that song. Oh my god. It's all connected. It's all connected. Mark, your father and I, we have to go work abroad. What? I'm so sorry, my love. It's so hard to leave you, but... We want you to be able to follow your dreams. To live comfortably. We have to do this to provide that for you. Your father and I, we had big dreams. But it's hard to achieve everything you want, if you don't have the means. We want to give you the means. But mom! I know, son. I know. I love you. This is my new dream. To make sure you can have yours. Will you help me achieve it? That's when she told me they had to leave. To achieve their new dream. So I can follow mine. Do you talk often? How are they doing? Dad's alright. A little tired, but doing his best. And Mom is, she's okay too. It gets pretty busy out there, you know? Yeah. I know what it's like to miss somebody too. We're gonna talk about that picture. I wish I could talk to him again. We used to get up to all sorts of mischief. I remember one day, we secretly set all the clocks in school to ring at 11, 11 a.m. We got in so much trouble, trouble for that. <laughs> My grandpa's had to pick us up. <laughs> they were a little angry. I don't know why I started talking like that. <laughs> but they also found it a little bit funny. We spent a lot of time with them together while my parents were at work. I'm sure they miss him too. You know, Jake would have said the same thing about following your dreams. He was always cheering me on at contests, so proud of every award. He always wanted me to go far. I just... It's hard when the person who said it is gone. I really admire you, Mark. You're so persistent, never giving up. For me, it... Hey, it's okay. It worked out in the end, right? Yeah, in the end. I really never thought I would play again. My parents never gave up. They kept the piano and everything. But I was sure I was done. Until one day, I met someone so boring yet so persistent that it made me realize things. What kind of things? Come outside with me. I have to tell you something. here. It's beautiful out here. Yeah. You know, Mark, when I first met you, I felt something.
Like I already knew you. Like you were familiar. Huh? What is that supposed to- Remember that time when we first saw each other? Yeah, there was a little glitch effect. Let's get dark. Let's go dark. Oh? Deja vu. The biggest, the biggest deja vu of all time. I don't know. It didn't feel like the first time. Is this what Louise was talking about? Should I ask Nicole what it was like? I'm pretty sure that's just our weird minds. I shouldn't be asking anything at all. Louise told me not to, but... I guess all I'm trying to say is... I think we were probably meant to meet. I've gotta tell Louise. Wait, talk, Mark. She's waiting for you to respond. Yeah. I felt it too. Like, you know? I already knew you or something. <laughs> I'm glad. Nicole, could you come here for a second? Your grandpa wants to see you, but we don't know how to do this video call thing. Ugh, they're still up. Why now? I thought you wanted to see your relatives. Come on, hon. Just help me set this up. Just tap the button that looks like a camera. Which one? <laughs> oh, the camera app? Ugh. I imagine Mark's heart is beating crazy fast right now. Louise, are you there? You were right. Nicole felt it too. Like we knew each other from before. She confirmed it! We're gonna cliffhang that. We're gonna cliffhang that, cause chapter five just start. Chapter four ended. Chapter five, the 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 final the final chapter of the game, where all reveal where all will be revealed. <laughs> oh my god! I'm such a sucker for glitch effects and distorted music. It gets me every time. Just ooh, the dark elements. It's like ooh, everything is not what it seems. <laughs> okay, we'll see. See you. See you next time for chapter five. We're starting chapter five, the final chapter of the video game. Until then, goodbye. <laughs>